Apple's Reminders app can do more than you think. Let's say your boss needs you to do something first thing tomorrow morning. Just set a reminder to notify you when you arrive at work. And if you took some notes, you can actually scan those and attach them to the reminder. Easy. What else can reminders do that you didn't already know about? Let me show you. You can organize your reminders into lists and groups. I'll add a new list and I'll call it packing up since I will be moving houses soon. I will assign it a color and scroll down and give it an icon like maybe this little house icon right here. I'll tap done and now when I go into this list, I can start adding items like buy bubble wrap. Now I can also create groups. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to the home screen and to create a group, I'm just going to drag one list on top of another. So I'll take this camping trip list right here, just start dragging it and drag it on top of my Dahub diving trip list. That says new group, now I'll call it trips because this is a trips group. Tap create and now you'll see I've got this trips group right here that I can collapse or expand or I can tap it to see all reminders inside the lists under that group. You can also organize your reminders with tags and those work independently of lists and groups. Here I have a list of issues to discuss with people in my team. I'm gonna tap the first reminder and then I'm gonna tap the hashtag symbol. That allows me to create a hashtag and I'll create one for every person in my team. So I'll create one called Kelsey. If I type that and then tap done, now you'll see it says hashtag Kelsey. That means a tag was assigned. For the second one, I'll assign this one to Mark and again, tap done. For the third one, I'm going to tap the hashtag symbol and you'll see that Kelsey and Mark, these hashtags are already getting suggested. I will tap both of them. Now I've assigned both of those tags to that reminder. I can go back to the home screen and scroll to the bottom and I'll see a list of my tags right here. So if I tap Kelsey, I will see all reminders that match the hashtag Kelsey tag. If I also tap Mark, I will now only see that one reminder that has both of those tags. And you can do a lot of customization here. For example, I can tap this drop down right here and say, show me all reminders that match any of these tags. Or if I switch that back to all, I can say, I wanna see all my reminders that have the Kelsey tag, but not by tapping Mark again, the Mark tag. You can also flag reminders. To flag a reminder, just tap it and hit the flag right above the keyboard. What that will do is it will put it in the special flag view that you see on your home screen. This can be handy, for example, for identifying the top three things that you'd like to get done today. You can also assign priority ratings to reminders. So here in my packing up list, I can tap a reminder, go to the eye icon, find where it says priority, and maybe assign it a priority of medium. I can give the next one a high priority, and a third one, a low priority. And now what I can do is I can sort this list by priority by tapping the ellipses at the top right to sort by priority. Handy, right? One of the really cool features of the Reminders app is that it can remind you to do things under certain circumstances, such as when you are arriving at a place or when you are leaving that place. Let's say I'm out of the house and I remembered that I need to pick up a package that was delivered to my neighbors instead of to me later. I'll create that reminder and just tap the arrow icon and tap arriving home. Now I'll get a push notification as soon as I get close to my house. Now for this to work, you do need to go into your contacts app and find where it says my card at the top there and list your home address. If you wanna be able to do this with your work address as well, make sure you also list your work address. You can also assign a date or a date and a time to a reminder. And this is called the due date. Let's say I need to pay the rent by October 25th. I'll tap the calendar icon above the keyboard, choose date and time and set it to October 25th. And maybe I need to do this by a specific time like 4 p.m. I'll tap apply. Let's do that for this other reminder as well. Maybe this one is actually due today. Then I'll tap done. Now, first of all, you can go to the today view and the today view shows you all your reminders that are overdue or that are due today, such as send boss the estimate of dashboard ETA. But you'll notice that it also shows you reminders at the bottom that you can do right now because you are near the location that you attach to this reminder. If you want to, by the way, you can tap the ellipses at the top right and uncheck group by time. And that removes that morning, afternoon and evening thing that was there. Let me just turn that back on so you can see what that looks like again. Now, if you go to the scheduled view, you're gonna see reminders that are scheduled for today or for some time in the future. So we'll see here that on October 25th, this reminder pay the rent is due at 4 p.m. You can also set up repeating reminders. 
Let's take this pay the rent reminder right here, tap the eye icon, and then tap repeat. But you should know that repeat will only show up if you have set a date or a time. So I will tap repeat and say repeat monthly. Now we have an end repeat option that shows up. I'm gonna tap it and leave it on repeat forever, but you can have the repetition stop at a specific date if you really wanted to. So let's go back to the repeat frequency because I do wanna point out also that bi-weekly here means every two weeks. If you're on British English, by the way, this is gonna say fortnightly, but either way, it means every two weeks. So I'm just gonna go back and tap done. Now this reminder is gonna notify me once a month. And by the way, if you take medicines, the Reminders app might seem like a great way to remember to take them, but you can do better. The Health app now has a dedicated medication section designed especially for this purpose. So go ahead and check that out. Earlier, I showed you how to organize your reminders into lists, but those were just regular old lists. You can also create smart lists. Now a smart list will show all reminders that meet certain criteria from everywhere in the Reminders app. Let's create a smart list that shows all of our reminders that are due in the next week or that have the top priority rating. I'm gonna tap add list and then I'm gonna tap make into smart list. And I'm gonna say include reminders matching any of these criteria which Apple calls filters. They need to have a priority rating of high or if I tap date, they need to be in the relative range they need to be due in the next week. Now I know there's a lot of options here, so you should go peruse this on your own. This is just an example. I'm gonna select include past due reminders because we better show this as well. We gotta work on those soon. Then I'm gonna tap done. Now I'm gonna call this list top priority or due soon. I'm gonna make it red and I'm going to give it an exclamation mark icon. I'll tap done. Now, if I go into the list, you'll see that it shows this reminder that is due today, as well as this reminder with a high priority rating. A smart list will always show all reminders that meet the criteria, both existing reminders and new ones. And if you create a new reminder in the smart list, it will receive all the attributes it needs to meet the criteria. Let's do an example. I'll create a new reminder and call it ask boss for pay raise. Now you'll see that it got assigned three exclamation marks, a high priority, and it also got assigned a due date of a week from today because those are the criteria that we set for this smart list. Sometimes you have a long list of reminders and you might want to group some of those for convenience. This is called creating subtasks. Let me show you how that works. I'll create a new reminder in this camping trip list and call it electronics. Now I can tap the eye icon and then scroll down to where it says subtasks and I can add reminders such as power bank and USB cable. Now, when I go back to the list, you'll see that electronics is in bold and it has an arrow and I can collapse or expand it and power bank and USB cables are subtasks of electronics. Another way to do this is to create a new reminder here, let's say camera, and then to swipe right on that reminder, swipe right and choose indent. You can swipe right again and choose outdent, but I'll leave it like this for now. You can attach an image or a document to a reminder to help you remember what it was about. For example, the other day I had some holes in the sleeves of this sweater. So I went to the shop to buy some elbow patches. Now what I did is I tapped the camera icon and then take photo. I took a photo of the sweater and I tapped use photo so that it got attached to this particular reminder. At the shop, I just tapped the photo, looked at the elbow patches on sale and picked the one that most closely matched the sweater's color. In the same way, I can scan and attach a document to a reminder. I'll tap the camera icon and tap scan document. I'll hold the document in view and then I'll tap save. Now, after I tap save, I'll have a little thumbnail right here. Now, when I tap the thumbnail, I can do a couple of things with this document. I can mark it up with the button on the bottom right. I can share it with the button at the bottom left or by tapping the arrow next to image at the top, I can save it to files as a JPEG, I can save it to photos as a JPEG, or I can export it as a PDF or print it with my printer. You can share a reminders list with someone else who has an iCloud account. To do that, just tap the share icon in the list and choose one of your favorite messaging apps, find that person and send over the invitation to join. You'll see that it has worked when you see their photo or their initials in the circle at the top next to the sharing icon. In a shared list, you can also assign reminders to yourself or to someone else. 
Here's how you do that. Just tap the reminder, then tap the person icon above the keyboard and choose the person you'd like to assign it to. I'll tap done. You can also do this for multiple reminders at a time. Just take two fingers and swipe down on the relevant reminders. Now they're both selected. Tap the ellipses at the bottom right, tap assign, and in this case, I will assign them to my girlfriend. Just tap apply. Now, the cool thing here is if you go to your home screen, there's a section here called assigned and it will show you all the reminders assigned to you. And of course, the other people you're sharing your lists with will also see items assigned to them in their assigned to me list. Reminders now lets you save lists as templates. And this is so cool. Let's take this camping trip list right here. If I want to reuse this in the future, all I do is tap the ellipsis and tap save as template then tap save. Now I can go to my home screen, go add a new list and then choose templates at the top. The camping trip list is here. So I'll tap it to create a new instance and I'll call this one Yosemite camping trip. And then I'll tap create. It's a new list now at the bottom. Now here's a tip. If you think of an improvement to make to this list, such as something that is missing, make sure you add it both to this list that you're working with as well as to the template. So you can benefit from that improvement in the future. To edit the template, you just go back to the home screen, you tap add list, go to templates, and then you tap the eye icon next to the template and tap edit template, make your change, tap done, tap cancel, and you're all set. Once you've created a template, you can also share it with others. Let's say you run a small coffee shop and you have a list of things that need to be done to close the shop at the end of the day. You want to share this list with a new employee. Super easy. Find your template, tap the eye icon, tap share template, and send it to your employee. Once you've done that, the template will show up in their reminders under the templates feature. When you're creating a new reminder, you can use natural language to describe when you'd like to be reminded. For example, let's say I want to change the bed sheets tomorrow morning. Now you'll see that tomorrow morning turns blue and there's a suggestion right here. And if I tap that, Tomorrow morning is the due date assigned to this reminder and the text tomorrow morning is removed so your reminder stays nice and clean. Here's another example. Schedule a haircut every month. Boom, done. From many apps, you can share things to reminders. Let's say I'm here in Safari looking at some scuba diving gear I want to look into a bit more later. I'll tap the share icon and then look for the reminders app. Now, if the reminders app doesn't show for you in this list, what you can do is you can go to more and then you can tap edit at the top right until you find reminders. Then you tap the plus symbol to the left of reminders. Then you hold by the three horizontal bars to the right of reminders and just put it here in your favorite section wherever you'd like it. So I'll put it at the front. Now, if I go back to this screen, reminders lives right here at the front of the list and I'll tap it and create a new reminder. If you use the notes app too, you might like to share a note to the reminders app sometime, but there's no direct way to do that. You can't share a whole note, but you can share part of a note though. Let me select some text in this note. And then in the pop-up menu, I'm going to tap the arrow to the right, and then I'll tap share. I'll choose the reminders app and then tap add. Now, if I go to the reminders app, I'll have a new notification that has the surfing tips here that I shared to the reminder and I can tap the note icon to the right of surfing tips and it takes me back to the note. And here's an extra tip. In the notes app, if you type a date or a time like review Monday morning, you'll see that that becomes underlined and you can tap that and tap create reminder and it'll automatically have the date set to whatever date you typed. Sometimes it's handy to print a list or to save it to a PDF. To do that, find the list tap the ellipses and tap print. You can either print it directly to a connected printer or you can take two fingers and swipe out on the thumbnail and now this is a PDF. You can then tap the share icon and save this as a PDF or send it to someone else if you'd like. On the home screen of the Reminders app, you'll see some lists at the top. These are your pinned lists. To change which lists are pinned, just tap the ellipses at the top right 
tap edit lists. Now you can uncheck some of those lists. Maybe you never use all, maybe you never use flagged, and maybe you don't even use completed or assigned to me. You can tap done and they will not show up anymore. If you go back to that screen, you can also pin some of your lists that you created. So if I go to the bottom and I find the one where it says top priority or due soon, I can put my finger on the three handlebars to the right and just drag that all the way up and kind of scoot, this is sometimes tricky, and kind of scoot that in there and then tap done. And now this list is pinned to the top for easy access. My final tip is that if you are ever on a PC or on an Apple device where you are not logged in, you can just go to iCloud.com and then click Reminders. All your reminders will be right there. Not every feature is available on the web version, but it will do in a pinch. That was it for the Reminders app, but I have a video just like this one full of tips for the Notes app as well. So go ahead and watch that next if you hadn't already. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao.